I have no hate in my heart for for anyone. Uh, I've always strived to treat everyone with uh, respect and, and, and kindness. Um, in this specific instance, I'm personally choosing not to endorse something, um, you know, a sexual identity or orientation that is counter to my convictions, which are based in the Bible, um, which I consider the highest authority in my life. Oh, deja vu. What did you just say? Nothing, just had a little deja vu. Yep, we're back here again. It is deja vu all over again. Hi everybody, Frank here. Sorry about my absence, I've been down and out with a cold. It's been going around. But we're back with Curious Minds 1 and 0. And this time it's James Reimer, goalie for the San Jose Sharks, who says no to wearing the gay pride jersey. In a brief sum up, it was part of the San Jose Sharks Pride weekend. Before last Saturday night's game, the San Jose Sharks took the warm-up skate wearing pride jerseys and hockey sticks. And just like in Philadelphia a few short months ago with Ivan Provorov, one Shark player, in this case James Reimer, he elected to stay in the locker room and not participate. This time around, it's almost like Ivan Provorov, I don't want to say paved the way, his story was pretty big because I guess he was the first. James Reimer has just done this and I feel like from what I've seen, it's a story, but not as big a story or backlash as Polvorov. I guess Polvorov showed that, hey, you can do this and be respectful. And, and again, just respect my beliefs as much as you want your beliefs to be respected. So I'm not saying Reimer has an easier time. He certainly has his critics out there. But I, I think that it's with softer effect this time around. I think now is a great time to utter the quote from the great Voltaire. I disapprove of what you say, but will defend to the death your right to say it. I mean, reaction has been mixed. Um, I think he has his supporters out there. I mean, uh, remember Breakfast Television, Sid Sincero, and uh, the heart attack he almost had when discussing the issue? You're either in this or you're not. Nothing scares me more than any human being who says, I'm not doing this because of my religious beliefs. Because when you looked at people's lives who normally say that publicly, you'd throw up at what you saw. So don't don't give me that. All right? Don't tell me, don't don't feed me the religious beliefs line. And all of a sudden the NHL is gonna back off this. The National Hockey League today needs to find that organization a million dollars and reevaluate how they support gay rights. Well, BT Calgary also discussed it, but they seemed a little bit better with their reaction. You know, I understand the concept of religion and I'm not an overly religious person, so for me, I, I wouldn't personally uh, sway that way. But I think at the end of the day, you know, young people, anybody looking for, you know, to the sports stars to be an example and to be that uh, beacon of acceptance. And I think, you know, by saying no hate, you're also not showing love for your fellow players. It's, just, it's very sad to sort of hear that level of passion for something that you know, wouldn't have been a big ask, I don't think, in my opinion. You're, you're with your team, you're supporting fellow teammates, and you're supporting future generations as well. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a heart attack. They discussed how they felt. Now, I don't agree with what they said, but at least they were very respectful in saying it. I thought that this was a good conversation. This is the NHL. It's sports. I recently, in a cost-cutting measure in my household, cut cable. I mean, you, you, you've seen the inflation uh, situation in Canada. I miss sports tremendously, but a situation like this makes me not miss sports. All I want to do is watch hockey, and that's it. Johansson in a rolling putt, walks in, enters it down, he shoots at the side, he goes, puts it and scores! Marcus Johansson ties the game! And shoots, hands it, and rebound, scores! Marcus Johansson, the series winner! And the Washington Capitals take it in six! Back ahead, it's DeBrusque with a step. DeBrusque trying to get it, and he scores!
of two to one. Okay, maybe I don't want to watch just Maple Leafs hockey. Maybe I phrased that badly. What do you think? I'm a long-suffering Leafs fan. It's very painful. But I guess as a Leaf fan, I enjoy pain. But back to the point of this video. Where does it all end? I mean, is it going to be uh, Black Lives Matter night? Uh, then there's going to be gay night, indigenous night, this night, that night. I mean, there, there's just so many out there. If you're a good hockey player, regardless of your sexual orientation, religious beliefs, color, race, and so forth, you're in. Just do it. Don't preach it. My final thought is... I'm happy to see players stand up to some of this forced, woke initiatives. I'm all for people that would like to wear uh, the pride jerseys and things of that nature. I'm also happy to those that don't want to wear it. I'm good either way. Again, I just want to watch hockey, as painful as that is as a Maple Leaf fan, and, and that's it. I find the people that have protested the Pride jerseys like Ivan Provorov and James Reimer to be quite respectful. They just don't believe in a particular cause and don't want to be involved. They just want to play hockey. And I am okay with that. Thank you for reaching the end of another video. So again, sorry for about my absence. I'm just trying to get over this cold. It's a nasty one. Please like and subscribe. Really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow this channel. It's, it's a slow and steady uh, growth, which which I'm completely happy with because again, I got a full-time job and I got a family that I manage with my wife. So, no wine goblet today as I get over this cold. It's a good old-fashioned Tim Hortons cup, which by the way, I hate this new roll up the rim to win. You have to go online and do all of this stuff. I want to roll it up and see when I win my donut once every 10,000 coffees. Okay, forget it. Okay, enough of that. Thank you very much and have a fantastic, fantastic day.